cool cats and cuties out there, Tessa here, and I'm going to start playing this game called West of Loathing. Now, this game I've been interested in, and I just got it, so let's get started. You know what? The, I don't like this, <laughs> because Tess Gardner. That's me. No, I'm just joking. Alright, let's get started. Do I get to... Oh, cool. Ooh, what do I want to be? A, a cow puncher? I had a strange dream. I was choosing a character class. I was a cow puncher, a bean slinger, a snake oiler. So, I don't know what I want to be. Oh, let's let's go with the. A, let's be a cow puncher. No, I want to be a bean slinger. Let's be a bean slinger. All right. Magic and cooking are uh, interwinded and loathing. And the bean slinger is a mythical, or I'm sorry, mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out in the West since the cows came home due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Ooh. So if I'm, if I'm a cow puncher, hold on. I want to see what a cow puncher does. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them in a disagreeable feller, in a dis disruptive saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in the slightly less <laughs> reputable saloon. You've heard that cow punchers are on demand out in the West since the cow punchers since the cows came home. Which stands for reason, which stands to reason, the cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. Oh, what's a snake oiler do? Snake oilers rely on their, on their molly, uh, and to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract post potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture the and sell potions made from those oils. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be a bean slinger. Let's do a bean slinger. All right. I really like the soundtrack so far. This is, this is like getting me all in the West mode. I'm gonna be a bean slinger. This is my room. All right, let's see. Okay, so obviously to walk, I have to use my AWSD keys. So we're gonna forward. Do I just click on things if I want to... Oh, look, look at that. You read the spine of one of your books, Clementine Brown and the Black Ship. That was one of my favorites. Read another title. Emmett Danger and the Spooky Cove. I love that one. Jim Hardy and the Incident at the Terrible Mine. Dad gave me this when I was a kid. Hello, Hardy. And the Trouble at Butcher's House. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. The Curse of the Spooky Canyon. Ruffus liked this one as much as I did. I like how my idol thing is like, I swing my hips back and forth. Like, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to go sling some beans. All right. All right, let's go. Goodbye, turn it off. Oh, no, you'll need, you'll, you'll pull the needle away from this and stow it in the way handily. All right, is there anything else? Goodbye, desk, comb hair. I need some XP for combing my hair. Cool. Sounds good. All right, so. Oh, oh, hey, this one might come in handy. You got a walking, walking stupid. I don't. Goodbye, bed. <laughs> Time to head the west and chase my real dreams. I like how I say goodbye to my bed. Oh, my crow's name is Russell. Hey, Russell, how you doing? I'm going to miss you, bud. Leave Russell alone. I'm going to miss you, buddy. Go, go. Feed Russell a cricket. He grabbed a cricket from, from your cricket pad and fed it to Russell. He coos ap appropriately and nestles your hand. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. It's time for me to leave you, too. Go, go. You open your door. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unhatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, and flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. Russell, no, I'll miss you. Why can't I take you with me? 
I wonder what would happen if I would have left him here. All right, this is my living room. Look at my little cozy. What a mess. Stack the firewood. I got another XP. All right, nothing to, nothing on the hat rack today. Let's go to the fire. This hearthy, this hearth really puts the hearth in the hearth of the home, hearth and home. Aw, I wish I had a fireplace. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Mom was always the best cook. It's mom's pie safe. It's where she keeps all of her pie safe. Nice, that's funny. You'll miss all the meals with the family. Am I just like reminiscing? It's, that's a door. It's your little brother's room. Let's see what little brother's got. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Um, none of it makes a look of sense to me. Is I think this is about math. Um, what a weird kid. Let's go see what he's got in his toys. Look inside. <laughs> he loves this kind of stuff. God, the... It's so tidy. You know, this is not like a brother's room at all. Like, there would be clothes everywhere. All right. I don't think there's anything else for me to explore. Not that I know of. All right. Let's go outside to the Wild West. <gasps> it's your family's farm. Is that my mom? Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're going to miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got a present for you. A present? Yep. It's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but what's Crimbo? Crimbo. Grimbo. It's the one about picking locks. Oh boy. Is it the one about the desert survival? It's the one about bartering. Oh boy. Um, let's go with the desert survival. That's the one. Enjoy desert eating and drinking. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. I will, Mom. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mom. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head to the west. All right. Your father jabs at this, uh, that hat, that hat doesn't fit you, dad. It's time for me to leave, dad. That hat doesn't fit you. It'll, I'll grow into it, <laughs> says your dad. It's time for me to leave. He qu his lip quivers a little. Oh, listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite ban of bean can of beans. Cool, can of infinite beans. Thank him. Thanks, dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did, dad. Bye. I said bye to mom first before I said bye to you. Stick through it. Oh, I got another heat. I got another needle. Cool. Is that my little brother? Hi, little brother. You're wearing glasses. <laughs> Your brother Rufus is standing there looking nervous. He, He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him back his puzzle. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus. Hey, Rufus. It's time for me to head to the west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going to the West anyways? To help people, to seek my fortune, to get off the stupid farm. Well, let's see. I like helping people and I like fortune. But let's see. I'm going to do to help people. Because why not? You read the papers, Rufus. The people out in the West are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 60% of people who go to the West get killed within a year. And that statistics, and that statistics is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Don't worry. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I think you'll be, you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch on the arm. Leave. He's rubbing his arm now. Oh, sorry, little brother. Is there anything else that I can, I can look at? Maybe like maybe the window. Is there anything in the window? Nope. Okay, let's go. Bye, mom. Nope. I just want one last one last hug before I go. She smiles and hugs you. Leave. Can I hug dad? He barely got. He's just barely holding it together. Oh, poor dad. He must have been a daddy's girl. Obviously. Go to the west, young woman. Yes, let's go. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is really, I like this. I'm searching high and low. Am I riding in a wagon of, I don't even know. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, something's, something's popping up. I don't know what it is. 
Oh, why did I push it back down? I don't know. I will find out. Yeah, I probably wouldn't eat. Don't eat it. Please don't. Yeah, you, you lost it. You're just messing with this guy's stuff now. Just don't. Don't. Yay. Good job. You stacked it. Now you're bored. Hey, man. Just like, take a nap. That's what I do on car rides. I just sleep. 200 miles later. Oh, my God. Dirt water. I'm like, I can't take it anymore. I'm jumping off this hay wagon. Well, the bad news is that you fell off the car and got knocked out for a couple of hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in town rather than in a glunch somewhere. <laughs> no, not much of a town, though. All right. Who are you, dude? A turnip. Ah, oh, that's pointy. A turnip. Let's get the turnip. Yeah, we got the turnip. Dusty turnip. Ow. Am I getting hurt by that? Hey, guy. You want to know a uh, <laughs> secret? Buffalo's gonna... He must be like the town drunk. Can I <laughs> say that I... <laughs> oh, I can't read it. Uh, a sign says... A sign on the door reads, Gone drinking. Oh, that must be him. Oh, I've gone into the saloon. Ooh, wow. Okay, hold on. As you walk into the saloon, a crazed eye guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves to get your attention. Hey, where'd you get that? Where'd you get your hat? Dang, nabbit. Well, I... You can't drink in here without a hat. <laughs> ain't proper. You're, you're talking ain't proper there. He points at the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the box. You look through the hat box and find a magical black. Cool. This looks like something you would wear. Let's get it. Yes. Er. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Pete. Say, gal. Uh. Yeah. You had him west. If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Er. Well. Er. <laughs> no pressure. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, little man. What you got there? You walk up to the bar and patiently wait for the bartender to notice you. Senpai noticed me. While you are waiting, you see a sign tab to the back of the wall reading, Recommend reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. Keep waiting. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Tess. What brings you into our little backwater? Ask about work. Oh, the usual. I came out to the west to make my fortune. Not... Oh, wait. I thought I came out here to help people. Not much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts. Unfortunately, Boring Springs... Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an... an a war Aaron town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I recommend talking to the railroad people down by dirt water. Ask about the railroad, ask about dirt water, ask about errands, take your leave. Um, let's ask about the errands. You mentioned errands. Yeah, forsake, for, for, yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostels always need help since he's hurt his leg. And that ain't no, and that no count sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for, um, anything else. Oh, for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke, cowpoke, and from which glitch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle the, go the goblin. Ooh, I did it. Much oblige. I'll unlock the basement door for ya. Oh, and you'll be needing this. Weak fun. I'll take care of it. All right, so where's the basement door at? Walking around. Can I talk to you? The woman glares at you. You should probably let her just drink. What about the dough? Uh, howdy, I'm Tess. Howdy, Tess. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What you do? I'm the town monster. I don't know what that is. How is that working out for ya? Um, I don't know what that is. I'm the, I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? 
Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Yep. And me being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. <laughs> it's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm gonna need a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at this table. I'll be happy to show you. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, I love this. I should probably just leave him alone. Yeah, probably. Oh, shit, we're in the basement. Is that the goblin? All right, so how do I fight? Uh, Take one. Take one. Oh, I got a boring newspaper. Boring Springs Gazelle, April 20th. April 20th. 19 or that's at 18 something. Oh, we got some we got some whiskey. Let's grab a bottle. Uh, nurse is a brand of whiskey. I guess I'll we'll never establish your age. I guess we'll never establish your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is camera to the top of the bar. I mean fair. Attack the goblin. Fight. The goblin shouts, Eek. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fight the goblin. Why not? I wonder if this is like turn base. I think it is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, action, melee attack, you will deal two damage. All right, so let's see. I might use my mouse for this, actually. Um, pistol, you do. Uh, target will suffer eight hot damage. Increase your armor. Give up, give up is the same as losing. All right, so let's do. All right, space bar. Get him. Yeah. Minus two. Oh, no, he did minus two. All right, hold on. Nope. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do at all. All right. Cost one AP. Do I have any AP? Sure, we're gonna cast a spell. Look at me cast that beam. Bam! Dead. All right, I got the hit. I got, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. Oh wait, he's all be needing this too. What is this? This will deal 25 damage to the target, assuming the target is a goblin. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with this. Dead. Why didn't anyone else do this? Why didn't anyone else do this? Oh my god. I did it. I beat the goblin. Boring Springs basement. Cool. So I got I defeated the goblin. Boop 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 boop. Going back upstairs. Going over back to the barkeep. Howdy, howdy. Good to see you again, Tess. Tip your hat at the you tip your hat at the bartender. I took care of that goblin. Who's the drink who's the lady drinking the whiskey out of a beer mug? Um I just thought I'd say howdy. Who's the lady drinking out of the beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby, a real tough broad. I ain't recommending you pester her. Why is that? She lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustration about it. Ouch. All right, I took care of that goblin. Sweet, I got 20 meat, 200 meat, dang. I took care of that goblin, thank you kindly Tess. I knew you, I knew you was a Stand up, gal, at the moment you walked in. Aw, oh, thanks. I tipped my hat to you. I know I didn't do it in the game, but I do it in real life. He reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. There you go. It's the last, the least I can do. By the way, thanks. You gained 200 meat. Tip your hat. Just thought I said howdy. Howdy. The bartender smiles. Well, well, then mission accomplished, I reckon. Take your leave. Let's go. Ew, I stepped in. Oh, that's what those things are. The sheriff, trade. What else we got? Closed. Is that a, that's a person. You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. And the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, part, um, pardon. I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Dr. Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you cactus, cactus Bill. No, it's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? 
does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. No, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keeps pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mint. I guess it is a mint boring. I bet I wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read, you know, happen to have a newspaper or anything. Oh, I do have a newspaper. Give him the newspaper. Much obliged, partner. Now, let's see here. Uh, what can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at or in whole mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Cool, thanks. Behind the outhouse at the Oh Mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Stick the newspaper door. There you go. All right, we're not going that way. So I'm losing the dirt. Oh, wait, we got a shovel now. Let's get the shovel out. How do I get the shovel? Oh, wait, I got to get the shovel first. Yeah, get lost. Bye. Step, step right up. Step right up. Brad's the name and trades the game. Good job, Brad. You knew exactly what game you were getting into. You seriously doubt that his name is Brad. How do you, Brad? What are you trading? Well, ma'am, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. I got a bunch of needles. And to the coming, cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Well, I'm gonna do the dynamite for this needle. All right, Brad, which is not his name, <laughs> takes your needle, I knew it wasn't his name, and hands you a stick of dynamite. Be careful with this now. Cool. No trades right now. Thanks. Let's get moving. Now we got dynamite. Oh, dang, damn it. I keep running into there. Hick. Hey, watch this. Hick, miss. Burp. Buffalo's gonna watch a burp. Thank you, pardon, lady. Burp. <laughs> Can I get? Say that I get. Aw, oh, dang it. I missed it. Can I say that I... Oh, dang, I missed again. Stop moving so fast. You're supposed to be drunk. You're supposed to move slow. Well, put that gun away. No, don't do that. You put that away. Good job. Hey, listen. No. Okay, you're good. Where do we want to, where do we want to go now? We went to the bar. BS horsery. I don't know where to go. He said the shovel. Wait, is this guy the drunk again? Uh, You'll need a horse. Great. Yeah, I will need a horse. Let's go get that guy. You know what? Because you're never supposed to travel alone. Spit. It's a spittoon. <laughs> People spit into it. You know, without even looking in it. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Look into it. Yep. It's full spit. Regular spit. Gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum. And it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And it smells. Even from a distance. It smells horrible. <laughs> Look closer. Get it, get it, let's do it. You reach into your, you reach your hand into the splatoon. Even before touching it, you can feel the grossiness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stink brass horror. It smells like the vomit through a mosquito, mosquito barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Uh, never surrender. You plunge your hand out of the awful soup. It makes a sound of blop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. I got a nasty ring. Hooray. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's turn slowly. Not darting to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease. Well, congratulations. Hooray. This guy's sleeping. He's sleeping. Good night. Oh, you're just a sleepy baby, huh? These guys are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands and saying, How to play poker. That, that say how to play poker. Card that came with the deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Can I play? Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. All right, old man. How do you say Pete? Who, me? Well, heck. I, I say all kinds of things. For instance, dang nabbit. Ding, ding, nip machines can't trust them no more. A lily livered hornswogger. Uh huh. 
He takes his weapon while he uses whiskey. See ya, Pete. Ah, oh, guess Pete doesn't want to come on an adventure with me. Here, look through the hat. What would you do with two? Uh, I'd have two hats. That's what I'd have. I want two hats. Two hats would be cool. All right, so guess Pete's not coming with me, but let's go see the sheriff. Let's see what the sheriff's up to. You ain't doing nothing. Get off your lazy butt. Wanted the bird thief naked Mike Bernstein. Reward 200 meat. Help wanted. Wanted poster artist. Apply in person at the Moo Marsh office. <laughs> wanted. Bimmy Fricker. Fricker? Freak? Fricker? For face thieving. How do, wait, how do you face thieve? How do you... I'm curious now. There's a dirty mug here. I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna grab that and we're gonna take it back to the bar. You grab the mug. We're gonna take it back to the bar. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Born Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. <laughs> the what? The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Depends on the work. Nope. Um, as a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I have some. There's a gang of hool hool hooligans around here that call themselves the Fricker Gang. <laughs> Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my whole cell door with them. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. <laughs> and? And I need someone tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff after all. Okay, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna burn this guy. Why don't you go to... I gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. Oh my god, I'll give it a shot. Ooh, gave me a pistol, a deputy's pistol. I didn't shoot the sheriff, but I did shoot the deputy. Oh god, I'm gonna get shot. Why don't you say that? Cause I'm sending the deputy along with you. Oh god, he's gonna get shot. The deputy's the gun. <laughs> deputy, you deputized the gun. You're new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to deputy. <laughs> Oh my god! Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang hang hideout is for ya. You. He makes a little note on your map. You discover a new map location, the Fricker Gang hideout. Okay, got it back with your door. What the? This guy is a whole lot of hoo and nanny. Get lost. No, I don't want to get lost. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what we got going on. Map. Map is M. That's good to know. Make your make your own damned guide to Boring Springs. And it's in Denver's. New. Oh, I don't want I don't want to go there. Dang it. Alright, well. Hold on. Let's see what we got going on. Alright, hold on. Let's see what we got. This guy's sleeping. Thud. Good Fricker, the Fricker gain into a lookout. Appears to be taking a little nap. Wake him up, shoot him, just ignore him. Um, just ignore him because we ain't gonna kill nobody right now. It's a pile of random stuff like the Fricker Gain stole. Keep finding the Frickers. Finders Keepers. You gain 25 meat over. Oh, cool, I got the other mug! Yeah, I knew stealing that mug would be good. Alright, let's go in. Bam! Here we go. This guy's sleeping in, in the bathtub. This guy's haven't noticed me yet. That's one of the freaking boys does. Just shoot him, tie him up. Psst. Can you pass the soap? Don't disturb him. Tie him up. You grab a nearby length of rope and carefully tie his hands together. Then, And then to the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come collect him later. Let the sleeping band the lie. Is this out of the cave? I think so. You cautiously approach the Fricker Gang. They're pretty and gross and they're a poker game, so it doesn't actually quite require that much caution. You hide behind the barrel and eavesdrop on the conversation for a while. One of the one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather his name is Snipe. And that squirrely one is his brother, Wimby. What's your play here? Approach them and talk, leave without interrupting them. Um Let's see. Well, we're just trying to get the door, so leave without alerting them. Oh, God. Can I not go that far? No? 
Uh, let's approach them and talk. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. The one with the eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? Soapy. Huh. What do you want? You're under arrest. It's Bimmy. It's Bimmy. I'm here for the sheriff's door. Who's, who's Bimmy? Uh, let's do... Uh, I'm here for the sheriff's door. Uh, I'll show you the door, the door to hell. He draws his gun. Are uh, okay then, it's a fight. A fight it is. Fight. Oh god, we got, we got the jump on them this time. So, let's do... Dynamite won't end your turn. We'll deal 20 damages at the target. Um, we'll have the action one action point. So let's see. Three damage to this target. Trying to shoot the target will hit the sturdy barrel instead. Um, I could do the I could do this. Target will suffer nine damage. Yeah, we're gonna do the spell. Yeah. Go bingo. Hot. He's on fire. I think they missed me. Oh, can I, can I, oh, can I target? Oh, I think I can. Okay, so. All right, we're gonna target this. We'll deal six to seven damage. All right, then we're gonna do this one. Oh. Pull my gun. Oh, damn, I, oh, oh my God, I killed him. I killed him, I killed him dead. Dang, son. I don't want the gun now, though. I want... What's this one? Yeah, we'll do this one. Bam! I just punched him. He's gonna try shooting me, but it ain't gonna work, because he dumb. All right, let's go get him. Get him. Yeah, three. I don't want to kill him, though. He dead. Victory! The leaders of the Fricker gang are dead by your hands. The sheriff will be proud of you, though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Yeah, exactly. I didn't want to murder them. I just wanted to, you know, there's a mug on the table. Let's grab it. We're gonna we're gonna grab all these mugs. We're gonna look around. It's a sheriff's store. Grab that. Oh god, that scared me. A pile of Frickers got uh let's take it. I gained 50 meat. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else I can grab? What about the barrel? Did the, bar the barrel didn't have anything, did it? Nah, we good. All right, nothing in there, nothing over there. Good night, sleepy tight. Good night, Soapy. I'm walking away. That guy's sleeping. Um, we're just gonna ignore him. We're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore him. Good night. We're gonna go back to the town of Harvard Springs, or Boring Springs. Not Harbor Springs. I got 275 meat. Cool, and then we're gonna go back to the, ew, gross. There we go, gonna go back to the sheriff. Hey, sheriff. <laughs> I see the Fricker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rec rescue my cell door? You can <laughs> the sheriff his, cell, his door, and he hangs it back on the hinges. Nice work, stranger. There, this here prison cell just got about four more times to cure. Are there any figure left boys round up? Yeah, one or two. They're asleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. Yeah, you do. Give me that big piece of meat of 40 things of meat. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. You got another little task. I got another little task for you. If you got the time, you should be a lot slower than the last one. What you need? Well, the Frickers busted the lock when they took it. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. Well, where am I supposed to get a lock from? Wait, didn't it, didn't it, you, you were giving away. Uh, howdy, you are giving away a lock right now, right? Uh, I'll trade you the soap for a lock. So I need soap. Uh, no thanks. Where do I get? Oh, I could go back to the, the, the hideout and maybe wake up the guy. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go back 
to the hideout, and we're gonna go back to the Fricker King's hideout, and I'm gonna need, oh no, the, the guy's, the guy's gone, where'd he go? Maybe he's inside, I might have to kill him. Oh god, they're both gone! Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. No, no, I need, I needed the soap, dang it. I like how there's just a fire going in here, in this, in this cave. Is there nothing in the cave? No. Oh, I can, I didn't know I could jump. I didn't know that. Well, now I know. You know what they say, knowledge is power. All right, well, it looks like I can't, um, it looks like I can't do anything here. So we're just gonna go back to the town of Boring Springs, cause it's pretty boring. Let's go back to the sheriff. Or not, I'm sorry, the bar tavern. Uh, I found these mugs. I got 75 meat. Cool, much obliged. Just wanna say howdy. Take my leave. All right. Does anyone have soap? I don't think anyone has soap. Maybe down in the basement there's soap now. Maybe not though. I'm pretty sure if I would have found soap, it would have been down here already. Who can I get soap from? So yuck, gross. I keep stepping in it. All right, I need to do. What does he want? Uh, howdy. Soap robot. All right, so no trades right now. Sorry. All right, where's the soap thing at? All right, I'm gonna get my horse. Let's go get my horse. I think that's the last thing I gotta do. Yuck. Let's go get my horse. Oh my god, look at him. Horse. Horse. 1,000 meat. I don't have 1,000 meat. How's business going? Can you sell me a horse? How's business going? Oh, you know, every day I'm <laughs> hustling. To tell you the truth, though, it's been pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. How maybe I can help. Oh God, yes. Thank you, please. I go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat for each finding of them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me let me see your map. It's pretty much, they're pretty much always running in the same places. He draws little pictures on your map. You discover a new map location. Oh, I gotta go there. Yes. All right. Why, is, why are these places? I think... I think they like environments that are thermically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed them these oats. That will send them back here. Bag of homing oats. How does that work? Are there special pigeon infused oats? <laughs> pigeon infused oats? What? Can I take the horse with me? This is the most typical horse you've ever seen. So, do I not get the horse then? Nope. All right, so it looks like I gotta do get the horses first, so let's get the horses. Let's go to the mine first. Gotta get my shovel, got my shovel, got my shovel. I found 50 meat. Cool. Look, there's another mug. Grab it. Oh, we're gonna help the saloon guy so much. He's gonna be like, wow, well, thanks for all my mugs. I'm gonna be like, yeah, I know, right? What's this? Uh, this mechanism is Lake Gold Cargo Elevator. A poster on the wall behind it reads, Level 1, Blasting Cap Storage. Plungers, both kinds, tools. Where do you want to send the, um, leave the elevator alone for right now. Uh, examine controls, I think I just did that. Is that a cart? That's the elevator. There's TNT. Uh, you can't pass this rubble. Uh, even if I put dynamite there? I got dynamite. All right, I guess we'll go here. Um, let's go to level one. I'm just a little confused. There's some boxes. Grab one. We're gonna grab one box. Dang it, looks like you're gonna need a crowbar to pry open the compartments. Okay, grab one. All right, so that's not what we want. We want, uh, let's go to level two. I'm a little confused. Oh, it brings up things. Oh, there's dynamite things. Let's take one. Plungers. The sign light is only one kind. Stop. Stop doing handstands. Don't do a handstand on that. That's dangerous. So then we need tools. Obviously, I think the horses are down where you can't go through the rubbish. It's a toolbox, but it's locked. 
Alright, so let's see if I can put the plunger. You can't get past this rubble. Oh, uh, hook up the plunger. Yeah, I knew it. Alright, press the plunger! Get to the chopper! You press the plunger and nothing happens. You forgot to hook up the blasting. Crap. Oh, you forgot to hook up a blasting cape. Oh, but I need a crowbar. Right? That's what it said. I need a crowbar. Alright, there has to be a crowbar out here somewhere, right? That's definitely not... Wait, that's definitely... This definitely does not... The sanctuary. Alright. Let's go... Five bucks, I have to go to all of these. Let's go to the boneyard. Rip. Rip. Our founder... Boring. He was actually a really interesting guy. I'm so sorry that your last name was Boring. That's like Todd... Or Tad Strange from um, Gravity Falls. He is very normal. He showed up way too early. Venture Finger Rocket. He showed up way too early. Um... There's a zombie over there. Do you see it? Let's see. Dig it up. Oh, wait. Maybe it's the zombie. A scuffle it is. Maybe I don't I don't have to fight it. I mean, maybe I should fight it. Let's fight it. We're going to fight the zombie. We got to put him up this time. Yeah, we do. Let's do. Bam. Punched him. Bam. Ooh, dang, son. He got me good. Um gonna shoot him. Pew pew! Oh dang, I killed him. Killed him in one hit. Alright. Cool beans. Oh, thank you so much. I tip my hat to you guys. Thank you. This guy's got a pirate hat on. How will I ever defeat him? Oh no. Oh god, this guy is strong. Oh my god, he's strong. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get serious. Bam! I have one action point. I need to give one action point every. Oh man, this guy is really strong. Oh my god! All right, all right. Can I do the dynamite? Uh, we'll deal twenty. Uh, dynamite. You'll deal twenty. Joey, you have no action points with me. <laughs> Dead. Oh, I think that's my only thing of dynamite, though, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, I got a, I got a pie. I got a cool saber and a gold tooth. Sweet. Cool beans. There's a horse. There's a horse. Approach her. You, your pulse quicklens when you get near the spoopy transition of a horse. Um, slowly approach her. Hi there. I. Hi, hello there. Hi. I'm a friend. Okay. Nee. That's a little strange. How did you do that without opening your mouth? Pat her on the nose. Feed her the oats. Feed her the oats. Here you go, girl. Here's some oats. You hold up a handful of oats for the horse, but she just just stares right through you. Burr. Please don't look at me like that. Snort. Pat her on the nose. Pat her on the nose. You pat her on the nose, which is very cold. If you're going to if you're going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the nose once again. Still pretty cold. Pat her on the nose again. Still pretty cold. All right, let's try the oats now. He holds up the oats, but the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? They're not spoopy enough. I'm not sure how to make oats spoopy. <laughs> I guess I could put some on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind up bones. Grave dirt whining. Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. Add some grave dirt to it. Bizarre. <laughs> So that's one horse down. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Beloved daughter, devoted husband. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's go get the third horse or second horse. Boop. And I think I have to go back to there to get the third horse. Oh my god, that's a giant snake. Is there anything to defeat the snake with? Ow. This snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Um, attack it. It's letting me attack it. And I need to build up my stuff. So let's see. You got two action points. So let's let's use my sword. Bam! Murdered. This the snake is about to get real sleepy here in a minute. He's about to go night. Ready? Night. Dead. 
I murdered it. Oh yeah, let's keep going. Murder this, another snake? Well, I guess it's not called snake. One snake. It's, it, I mean, it's not. Bam, bam, eight, eight damage. Good job, B. Oh no, wait, what does that mean? Oh my God, he poisoned me, that's stupid. Bam. Am I gonna be poisoned like the whole time like in Pokemon? No, thank God. Oh my God, no snake. I'm good at tricks. This snake looks really angry. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. Um, I'm good at tricks. All right, let's see. We're gonna do this. Bam, 13 hit point. Four hit point. Dang, son, keep killing me. No, oh my God, wait. Oh, the poison does stick with me if I, if I don't do it. So hold on. Um, uh, let's do this. I didn't know the poison would stick. I mean, I guess it would make sense that the poison would stick with me. With every, like, everything. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need to get rid of this now. I need to get rid of the snake, and I need to find this horse and get this poison cured and figure out how to cure this poison. And I need to, I need to... There's a horse. Why do you look crazy? You got some crazy eye there. Approach the horse. This horse has gone snake eye crazy. Or maybe he's just some other kind of crazy beforehand. I mean, probably. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? Near. It's cool, all right? Be cool. Don't freak me out. Near. Look him in the eyes. Pat his nose. Um, pat his nose. You carefully, gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot but seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or stick out, suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around this hole of his. That's a good boy. Look him in the eyes. Look him in the eyes. Now feed him the oats. Feed him oats. Are you hungry, boy? Uh, I feel better than that. Cool. He gone home. All right, now let's go back to the mines. I didn't find anything useful here, though. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't find anything you The other ones, I found something. You don't have to walk all the way back over there. Click, um, no. I don't care. I want to see if there's anything useful over here. Oh, there is. Look, there's something shiny. It's a rock. One of these rocks is shiny. I got a shiny rock. That's it? I mean, I like rocks, but really? Nothing, nothing useful? All right, back to the mines, I guess. I guess. Let's see if there's anything shiny out here that maybe I just, like, missed or something. But I don't know. Maybe I need to go back and get a crowbar or something to get the... There's gotta be a... Well, I can, I can jump, so maybe... Nope, that didn't work. Can I, like, jump and move at the same time? Not really. Oh, wait, 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 what? Is Minecraft... Yeah! Okay. this rubble could be in real trouble all right so let's see let's do oh I know I think I know how to do this now that I got the shiny rock nope maybe not but I need a tool bar a crowbar and I don't have a crowbar so what do? What do? What do? What do? What do? Let's go back. Let's go back to the, the town of Boring Springs. So let's see. Oh, wait. No, wait. Go back. Go back. What was that? What did that say? A chunk of wood is broken. I grabbed a broken board. It's not what I wanted at all. All right. Let's see. Cactus friend, are you okay? No? Okay, Cactus friend, it's okay. Let's see. Maybe. I don't think the sheriff would have a crowbar, would he? Sheriff. I'm still looking. Dang it. You don't care. Wait, well, I didn't check the cell. Alright. Doesn't help me anything. Alright, let's see. Shovel it. Cool. Shovel it. Cool. And then there's loose dirt over here. Shovel the cow pile. 
All right, and then there's some moose dirt. Maybe there's <laughs> another mug. Let's go. Let's go help the uh, the not the sheriff, the bar. Woo. All right, I found these mugs. Cool. Just thought I'd say howdy. Take my leave. Oh, maybe she would have a crowbar. Are you, you are, how'd you know my last name? I saw it at the graves, I saw it at the cemetery, see it bitterly, and mutters into her whiskey. I saw what happened, I saw it happen, saw the whole dang thing, but couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender says it was cows. Cows, right? I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out what used to be a cow's ranch, and they attacked. A couple days ago happened so fast, I didn't even have time to grab my rifle out out of the gun safe. Cow smashed in the front door and a fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in a blaze, just like that. What did you do? I, well, wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire and I saw Timmy trampled right in front of me. I just, I ain't wanting to talk about it no more. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. I suppose. Nothing keeping me here and no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was my mama's rifle. That's all I got left of, of that, everybody. Where is it? Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need, you, I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go get it. All right, I'm gonna take my leave. Maybe if I get her rifle, she'll get me a crowbar. God, this is a town of favors, isn't it? I gotta get this guy on my horse. Anytime. Okay. Afternoon, ma'am, what can I do for you? Can you sell me a horse? You said something about it earlier. Just browsing around, thanks. I gotta go get one more horse, and it's gonna kill me. I'm gonna find this stupid horse. Dang it, I don't know what to do. Let's see, what do I got? Um, what do I got? I got a nasty ring. Does the nasty ring give me, oh it does, okay. Can of beans, my deputies, no label. Oh, cool, I got no pants, no boots. Oh my God, go get me some pants and boots, man. What is going on over here? All right, let's go get her, her thing first. Oof. Oof. What a fuck. Oof. Susie Ranch. So let's see. Is this. Go through. Something's behind this door making a pretty awful noise. Um. Let's wait. That sounds like a cow. There's a. Oh, dang nabbit. Dang's nabbit. Is there anything? I think I have to go through the door. I think there's no other way for me. Um. Oh, the water boiled away. All right, let's go. Let's uh, jump the uh, jump. You know what? We're gonna have to go through it. Let's go get the cow. Wait. All right, what's in here? Nothing. Anything over here? Sounds like the middle of a knife. I grabbed a knife. Cool. These pies were not safe. I'm so sorry. That's a cow. This thing looks angry. You're not gonna. You're not gonna make it to the safe without dealing with it. <laughs> We're gonna deal with it because that's what we do. We gotta pull them up this time. Well, this thing's already on fire and it's got 15 health, so. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna go big or go home. Oh, wait. We're just gonna shoot it. Pew! Oh my god, now I'm on fire. No, I don't want to be on fire. No, you stinking cow. How dare you hit me? There you go. Bam. Made it. Hip hip hooray. 
All right, let's go get her gun. Grab Susie's rifle. We grab Susie's rifle. Cool. Is there anything else in here that I can I can use? Nope. Why is there still the, so many cow noises? I'm just confused. All right, let's go back home. Just joking. We're going to go back to Boring Springs. The town of favors. Oh, go back into the bar. Here you go, Susie. I got you your rifle. Susie's eyes well up with tears as you hand her the rifle. And she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before, before any of it spills over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Tess. Thanks, Tess. Can't rightly say what it means to me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment. Sounds good. Uh, well, um. Cool. So I could have a traveling companion. But I gotta go get one more. Cool. I gotta go get one more. Um. I gotta get one more horse. I gotta figure out where... Where, how to get a crowbar? Where do I get a crowbar from? Stinkling sheriff. This guy didn't have a crowbar. How about some free dynamite? How about some free dynamite? Get lost. Bye. All right, I guess we're gonna try to get this other horse. Oh, maybe I gotta get the horse. I gotta get my horse. Can you sell me a horse? You said something about an injury. Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how, it's embarrassing. I, would, I was gonna get Dr. Alice to look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself in her office, said she won't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Is that actually a nurse, or I'm pretty sure she's just being sarcastic? I see. Alright, so let's... Um, can you sell me a horse? Sure thing. I should warn you, though. Horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you've bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Which one are you interested in? Um... Let me think about it, because I want to get... Okay, sure. Um... No, I said wait! I wanted to think about it, I thought. Um, three. Okay, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna see. Um, you need a horse. Maybe I can go to the other town first. Yeah, go Tessa, go. I mean, I know your name's Tess, but you know it's okay. Do 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 do. Nope, you're not allowed. And why? Why am I not? Oh wait, because I lived there, didn't I? Dang it. What do? What do? What do? What do? What do? I gotta get one more horse. I gotta get one more horse and then I can, I can, I can call it a night, right? I mean, not night, but you know, I, I can, I need this horse. Give me this horse. All right. Do, 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 Oh, wait, I can grab one now? Dang it, it looks like you're gonna need a crowbar to pry open the crates. Um, let's go to plungers. I mean, I already have a plunger, so I don't think I'll let me grab another one. Be kind of cool, though. You've already got a plunger. Yep, I knew it. So let's go to tools. All right, it's a toolbox, but it's locked. Leave the elevator alone. There's got to be something around here that I'm missing. There has to be. There has to be something I'm missing. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it could be that I'm missing. I just don't know. All right. Nurse. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got an idea. Let's... I totally forgot that I grabbed that. That I grabbed the nurse's whiskey. All right, I, I kind of think I know where to go now. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. 
<laughs> what brand? Nurse's Whiskey. Your favorite. I'm led to believe they know she make house calls, but all right, hold on. Enter the house. Oh, look at poor Dr. Alice. All right. Dr. Alice looks about to be in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined. But her eyes are clear and sharp, if it, as if bloodshot. She holds her hand. Whiskey. Stat. Give it to her. Don't give it to her. Uh, don't give it to her. She scowls at you. Well, what the hell I let you in here for, then? You shrug. <laughs> so I can rummage your stuff. Hey, Doc, can I look at your bones? Can I take you in the whiskey? You promise? Okay, fine. All right, fine. Here's your whiskey. Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem he healthy. Who's the doc here? Me or you? Okay, point taken. But just saying, it's probably not good. Um, the band doesn't look like it what it seems to be. Cool. Hey, dog, you should try to be able to check out the books. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Leaf through. Uh, the book tells you legend. Leaf through. Goblin tongue? What's a goblin tongue? I got some more XP. Cool. All right, let's make like a leaf and leave. The stove is spotless, whether she's really compulsive about cleaning or she never cooks. I mean, fair. Um, wow, should this be further away from the fireplace? Yeah, you know, I was saying the same thing. Um, it probably should be further away from the fireplace because she might, you know. All right, so... Um, is everything all right? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And can I talk? I can't talk and drink at the same time, so she stares at you mean meaningly. What's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart, and you ask, what's the matter? Bandits, cow, demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one, and I'll drink to that dead men walking. You haven't seen it? Corpse and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half their strings cut. Looking to take a bite of the living. Oh yeah, there's a skeleton in the cemetery. It's nice to get out some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It isn't possible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patients? Ouch. Uh, Alice turns away grimacingly. Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but, well, it happens. But that doesn't happen. But what doesn't happen is them coming back after our afterwards and looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough? Missy, I don't think you can comprehend the situation. It's not just patients. It's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, um, um, indeed. She turns back and focuses her attention back on the bottle. Mm hmm. She must have... Oh, maybe she lost her husband. Maybe she lost her husband. Cool, it can come in and out of Alice's house now. Can you sell me a horse? Oh, dang it. All right, hold on. Thanks for your wife. Let me know if you need anything to come... All right, so can't do anything there. Nothing shiny around here either. Oh, I bet he's just so happy about having his little little mugs back and whatnot. All right, so that was as useful as nothing. Just got some information about the about the doctor. Let's see. This stupid horse. I'm gonna find you, stupid horse. I'm determined to get you out. Press the plunger. No, don't press the plunger. You can't do anything yet. Oh my god. All right, hold on. Let's see. Character. Cool. All right. I don't know what to do now. All right. We're gonna go back to Boring Springs. And we're gonna... I'm gonna buy that horse. I'm gonna buy the regular old. Oh, do I want ghosty horse? I'm just browsing, yo. I'm just. Can I talk to the horses? This horse has the look of someone who has the, seen madness and dances to to the other side of the void. Oh. 
Yay! You behold the pale horse, like, absolutely pale. Just, this is the most typical horse you've ever seen. Alright, I'm just gonna buy a horse. Can you sell me a horse? Alright, I'll take the basic mode one. You know what? No, give me the one with the crazy eyes. Um, is something wrong with him? Okay, I gotta warn you, this horse has seen some sh stuff. Some stuff. Also, is there something wrong with him? Uh, no, not as much. He's perfectly punchable. But, one more could I have before I'll take him? But, well, he's always sneaking off to, to chew on local that goes there. And that makes him see crazy things. I think it's, I think it's more like he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time. Um, let's see. Sure thing I should warn you though, these horses might get. So let's see, what about the spoopy one? What's the spoopy one? Good choice. That's a good horse. If you like that sort of thing, I'll sell it to you. What sort of thing? <laughs> what sort of thing? You know, spoopy stuff. Spoopy? I don't want it to get into particles. Let's just say she's a certain, she sets a certain tone. Ooh, mysterious, I'll take her. You know what? We're just we're just gonna take the basic mode one. Uh, what can you tell me about him? This horse has four legs, and each leg has a weird horse knee that double hinges like a book cover. Uh huh. What else? He has all of his own teeth, both original eyeballs, and comes <laughs> with no extra choice. Okay, anything else? Nope. This horse is truly ordinary, and I'm fantastic. I'll take him. Give him a name. Oh, what should I name my horsey? Oh, what should I name my horsey? We should name him. Um, since he's so normal, we're gonna name him Discord. Because you can't have, you know, that without it. Oh wait, no, I spelled it wrong. I'm sorry. Discord. There you go. Yes, I wanna name him that. Alright, it's got a nice name. You got an item, South. Southeast West map. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Come on, horsey. Hi, little horsey. Yes, let's ride him out of town. This is your new horse, Discord. Ride him out of town. Uh, once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished business you've got will forever remain unfinished. Are you sure you're ready to leave? Um. No. I want to make sure I can try to help the townspeople as much as I can. But I'm, but I don't know what to do. I gotta help them. The one guy. What do I have a new item? What, what's up here? Oh, what's up here? Let's see. Info. Oh, maybe it's my horse. Nope. Broken board. Let's go see if there's like anything I can sell you. Howdy, proud. Uh, I guess we're not trading right now then. I don't know where to go. Let's see, maybe you'll be able to help me. Just thought I'd say howdy, take your leave. Oh wait, you know who I didn't interact with? Can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat, let's play. 200 meat. You put 200 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles his cards sloppily and then deals a new round. You get a pair of tens, of tens plus two, plus a two, a three, and a king. Um. Be aggressive. Let's bet aggressively. I win. Cool. That's it? They don't look like they have any... Aww. They're playing for spiders now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Aww. That's so sad. Uh-huh. Seven meat? I mean, sure, I'll sell it to you. Ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen someone got for an ore. Strange, but... Uh, sure. No. Wait. Pleasure doing with this. Nero's eyes and gears. His head starts to clicking. He fixes gaze on you, and the tick in his eye seems more pronounced. Listen, kid, all this stuff... Uh, what I've been buying from you. You've been spending time underground, ain't you? 
Well, you listen to old Pete's advice. You better, you will stay out if you know what's good for you. There ain't nothing. Oh. I'm not sure what you mean, but thanks. So I guess maybe I shouldn't go down to the bottom of the, of there. Maybe I can't. I don't know. All right, let's go right on town then. Sorry, Sheriff, but you're gonna have to find your own lock. Oh, well, maybe I can give him the, the broken board. Let's see. Boop. Boop. I'm still looking. Nope, okay then. I don't know what to tell you, Sheriff. You're gonna have to find your own lock. Because I'm leaving with my BS horse. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, Discord. Yes, let's go. Alrighty then. You proper your horse. Your proper lead horse and ready to start your new life west. All you need now is a partner, somebody to share a trail with, somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take with you? Um, let's do let's do Susie. No, I kind of like Pete. I like the crazy Pete. But what can crazy Pete bring to the table? That's the question. Let's do Susie. You pop back in the saloon and collect Susie. Hit the trail. Oh, one last thing before you go. Up, up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing so, and I promise to keep you well-rounded. Um... um you know, let's just keep spending it like that. There we go. Head for dirt water. <laughs> do, 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 do. Day one, your first day. Day one, the first day of the rest of your life. Room for rent. Require within. What you want? It's your partner. Talk to her. What's new, Susie? I like to check up on the ranchers in this part. See how bad the cows' tax are getting. All right. Do you know some? Not that great detail. But I know roughly where if you are, or at least guess where the where guess. Well, just have to see. There's one not far from here. You discover a new map in your location. What do you think we should do next? Am I forgetting about anything? Am I forgetting about anything? Um, Susie says you should see the bartender about renting that room in Dirt Water. It'd be nice to have a base of operation. Ask for another suggestion. Thanks for the reminder. Look at that horse. is like my horse, but my horse is better because his name is Discord. We're in a new town. Look at We're in... Di oh, look at this. Oh, this little girl's selling flowers for 50. You know what? I'll buy them. Thank you, lady. Aw, thanks. The way I always look at it, can I run, can you run me over? Like if I just stand here, nope. All right. The clerk clears her throat. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we currently don't have a sheriff. Offer to be the sheriff, offer to help, offer to leave. <laughs> and leave. <laughs> offer to leave and leave. Oh my God. All right. Well guys, I think I'm gonna explore dirt water in my, Oh, she looks so sad. Look her. Alright guys, well, this has been my obviously first part of Loathing in the West. So, with that being said, thanks for watching, and as always, it's been a pleasure. Tessa out!